Hello and welcome to the example to converting timestamps. This is an example where you will learn how to get a date for a specific day. Okay. So open up the converting timestamp. The logical flow is to convert date to an date array and then we can play around with the date. So part of it will create this file. Okay. So let's convert our date into an array. So for that you can say get date okay and we do a var dump of that array to see what is the date that we got okay so we have got an array of 11 elements which has everything in it it has seconds minutes hours m day weekday monday year y day weekday month everything almost you also have the timestamp of milliseconds okay you have all the details of a date in an array format now you have the full control of the date you can play around with this array now okay so let's do a for each of a date array as format and then the value now we'll say dollar format dollar value we'll not dump it now and we'll print it so here's a very good way to see you get seconds minutes hours and all the details of a date so the whole date is been converted into an array to and given to us and now you can play around with the date so once you have an array it's really easy to split and see each of the fields and then compare with any of the other dates that you have okay let's print some values so you want to print a weekday so i'm going to say date array give me weekday what weekday it is okay you want to Let's say you have not converted into an array okay you can even do this you can just get the array and then you can print it the weekday from it this is a short notation you don't have to convert into a variable and then print it you can directly use a function there then you want to print an year and you can still say year which year it is and you can go ahead and print that so weekday is thursday there's another way we directly use the get date then we got the year so if you just want to get an year this is the fastest and easiest way to get an year okay you don't have to go through all the process of converting formatting and all those things just say get date and year and then it's going to print the year for us okay if you want any other fields you can still use that notation to access the associative array and then get those specific key and then you'll get the value for it well that's all about how to convert a date into an array and how to access them via the associative array okay so that's all in the lecture on converting dates and i'll see you in the next one